In this video, you're going to learn how to make the toolpaths for the grooves on the mini baseball bat. So you should have all your other toolpaths made for the mini baseball bat. You'll have your face, your profile roughing, profile finishing, and your part off. So now we just need to add in a grooving toolpath to do this handle. So we're going to go turning, turning single groove. Go ahead and select your tool. Go to Sim Tools and select tool number 5, which is going to be your part off tool. Hit select. Make sure coolant is disabled. Make sure your surface speed is 800 feet a minute. Go ahead and change your spindle speed to 3000 RPM and your cutting feed rate to 0 0.002 for the bottom three boxes. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to our second tab. This is where we're going to select our groove position. So we're going to select this left side of all four grooves. Now in a groove side alignment, we need to change that to front. And that's going to allow it so that it aligns the front of the grooving tool with this left side of the groove then make sure your groove tip alignment is at tip go to your third tab you're going to go to outer radius change that to model OD and go ahead and give it an offset of minus 0 0.05 that's just going to make it so we're not cutting as much air so we can also do that with the retract we're going to go model OD and let's give it an offset of positive 0 0.05 Next, we need to select the inner radius so it knows how far to go with the grooving tool. So if we go to here, hit selection, and then you're going to select this any of these four inner radiuses, and it's going to use that for the bottom of the groove. So go to your fourth tab now, hit use pecking, change this to 0 0.01 for both boxes, and then you're good to hit OK. So now we need to make sure that this single grooving toolpath goes before the parting toolpath. Otherwise, there won't be a part there to put the grooves into. So I'm just going to take this toolpath, and I'm just going to drag it up, and it should swap places. So that's the order that all your toolpaths should be in. So now we're going to simulate it, just so we can make sure it's doing what we want. Comes in, does the face. Here it's going to do the profile roughing. So you can see it's going to start kind of roughing those grooves in, but we still need that extra toolpath to finish them off. So after it does the roughing, it's going to come in, it's going to do a finish pass. Right here, there's the finish pass. And then it should go to our grooving toolpath that we just created. So right here, it's going to do all four of those grooves, and then it's going to come in and part off our piece. And then you're all set. So after that, just make sure you post-process it and then get it set up and get your setup approved before running.